just like the old days at Alumni Hall, men's basketball, first game of three they will play on campus in the Legacy Series. The good thing about Alumni Hall is that the energy literally bounces in this arena, and that added to the excitement in a classic game. Enter Columbia out of the Ivy League, picked to finish second in that conference. Coach Sidney Johnson would say this was a good barometer of seeing where they stand. Well, they stand pretty good because this was like a boxing match. Every time one team tried to knock out the other, they would respond. That's Mayoto Lowe, the third of his three straight three-pointers. He scored nine straight points for Columbia. They lead 20-16. But the Stags could hit three-pointers themselves. Started off with Steve Smith. Made it a one-point game, and then Scott King. Stags are coming off a game where they hit a school record 17. They had 11 tonight. Marcus Gilbert had five of them. 9-0 run for the Stags. They lead 25-20. Forced Columbia to take a timeout. Still going for the long-range shots, Kevin Degnan. The first of two for him on the night. Fairfield regains the lead late in the first half, and this is how the stanza would end. Gilbert again. He's going to have most of the highlights during this recap. Gilbert and the Stags up 36-33 going into intermission. Columbia fought back to take a three-point lead midway through the final frame, but the Stags come back themselves using some defense. Missed three-pointer, but Fairfield gets the offensive rebound, and Gilbert finishes. Puts the Stags within one energy building, then it would explode off the steal. Nelson to Gilbert, Gilbert to the basket. 59-58, Stags up one, but now they have to close it out and it wouldn't be easy. Tied again at 64, nice pass to Milan. He had a double-double tonight with 10 points, but the Lions answered right back. Luke Petrasek gets the floater to go down, tied up at 66. The seesaw battle continues. They find Grant Mullins at the top of the key. Lions take their first lead since midway through the half. We will hear Mullins' name again as well. Now the Stags have to answer back, and they do. None other than Marcus Gilbert. He was just so confident out there tonight. Drained five of his seven long-range shots. Stags tie it up at 69. This would have been the play of the game. Stags up one off the inbounds. Jonathan Casababu. Stags have a 72-69 lead, under 30 seconds to go. Columbia calls a timeout. But there is that Mullins shooter again. Ties it up, five seconds to go. Stags can't get a shot off. We are going into overtime. Lions draw first blood there. It's low again. He attempted 17 threes tonight, made six of them. Lions up 75-74. Stags up two now after a few free throws. Coleman Johnson on the far side, nothing but net. Stags up 80 to 76, waning minutes of overtime, but the Lions won't go away. Alex Rosenberg makes it a one point game. 80 to 79, Fairfield would get the ball back, but it's intercepted by Mullins. The Lions now have a chance to go ahead and they would find Petrasek underneath. Columbia up by one. Stags forced to make a shot and they would but it would be at the line. Tyler Nelson gets fouled. He made the first to tie it up. Now a big clutch one coming up for the second and he nails it. Stags up 82-81. Final Columbia possession and this time the shot does not go down. Alumni Hall goes nuts. Stags go nuts. Sidney Johnson pumping his fist. First game of the season at Alumni, a success as the Stags in overtime take down Columbia, 82-81. My reaction is uh, it's so great to be home, you know, following the holidays and come back on campus in Alumni Hall. There's so much history here. We had an amazing crowd and the energy from them and the excitement, uh, it really stirred our players. So I was just so glad that we could reward them for coming out by getting a, a, a gutsy and resilient win. I mean, I don't think it was so much as, as it being hard, you know, whatever wherever the opposing team does, we're just gonna do what we do, and, and that's what we stuck to, and, and it just worked well for us, you know. Um, no matter if we lose by 20, if we down by one, we're just gonna stick to what we do. Mm -hmm.